Travelling Box with me Tanya and today's a big day we're going away again <laughs> I really am trying to squeeze as much in as possible while we can while the going's good given that we lost so much opportunity during lockdown this year um, but, but as you're no doubt aware the kids went back to school this week um, some started last week but my son went back on Monday he was very anxious which made me anxious but he's been brilliant this week I've had some excellent school reports back from his uh, teachers saying how hard he's trying um, how lovely he is being so that deserves a big treat doesn't it uh, something to look forward to so I booked us a cheeky little two night away and we have booked for St Neots Camping and Caravanning Club site. Gosh, there's road closures everywhere. Oh, I tell you what, the roads at the moment, I don't know whether councils are just trying to spend as much money as possible or whether they are trying to do as much as possible in the same way that we are, but road closures are the bane of my life right now. Every journey I take anywhere is full of them. Anyway, yes, so I'm, I'm on my way now. To, to pick the boy child up from school. I've packed the caravan with our clothes and food for the two nights. <laughs> That's simple, isn't it? <laughs> Just two pairs of everything. And uh, off we will go shortly after we get home. He's got to get changed, go to the loo. Kids have to go to the loo before any journey. It's the law. And um, then we'll hitch up and go. So I'm hoping that we'll get onto the campsite it's it's now one o'clock um i pick him up at half past one i'm hoping we can get home hitch up get on our way and get to the campsite for around about four o'clock this afternoon so that it's still a uh, good ample amount of daylight hours to, to set up and get comfy and explore the site and stuff but it's been something to look forward to to make this uh rather different week a bit more pleasant. He's here, picked up from school. Dogs and cats are loaded. Maybe you can see out the back. Frankie is there. And we're just about to pull away. See you on the other side.
Stevens. Hey, Stevens. Hey, Stevens. Nope. It's a car full. Thank you. You've not been with us before. No. Nope. Okay, okay. Oh, well, there's two toilet blocks and shower blocks open. Good. Men's is on this side. Yep. Ladies is on the rear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Elson Chemical Point yes. is on the rear. Right. Right. Let's go past the ladies. There's a pot washing area. Then the Elson Chemical. That's what we need. <laughs> that block up there is exactly the same. See with the bit of wooden area. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the toilet it. block. Uh, that's the washing up block. And just to the left of that is your Elson. The toilet. Lovely. The same. That block up there from 7:30. The keypad will go on the doors. Uh -huh. Well, the doors will be shut. They're on the keypad. Yeah. Their information is in there for you. Lovely. And then it's also in there for this pad if you go out in your car. Okay. Great. Okay. I should go and get you to a pitch. I've got a lot to choose from. But uh, oh, we can get you so on pitch. Cheers. A bit closer to the facilities. Um, probably. Although yeah. we're not too old because we tend to use our own mostly anyway. Oh, how old are they? Uh, they're about eight. Yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. Are they twins? They're, they're, they are from the same litter, yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. We've got little crosses. Chihuahua King Charles Cross. Oh, well, that's an interesting yeah. mix. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Oh, well, that will always be good. <laughs> Thanks. journey um, a bit of traffic in some parts but uh, simple enough didn't take us too long to get here at all the the wardens were really friendly when we arrived they absolutely love my chihuahuas <laughs> you got it showed nicely to our pitch and it's a nice level pitch uh, bang on level side to side I just had to lower the nose uh, the toilet blocks the facilities here are open and there are two lots so uh, it all looks looks rather pleasant rather pleasant indeed and, and looks like a lovely place to spend the next two nights just to get away from it all so shortly i'll be going for a little walk around the the campsite and uh, i'll show you what's what <laughs>
You know it's a classy wine when it's got a screw cap. <laughs> but I don't care. That's oh, so nice. Now those of you who have uh, watched us before will remember that I was fed up with the one knife that I had, which was very old. So I've treated myself to a set of knives. They're all in funky colours, all different types. Not terribly expensive. I don't think uh, they need to be really good ones like I would have at home. Simply for the odd bit of cooking I'd do in the caravan. But yes, a nice set of knives, all colour coded so I can tell them apart in a busy little drawer. That should make life a bit easier when I'm cooking. I was quite pleased with those. So tonight's dinner. I'm, I'm doing my usual make it up as I go along thing, um, but it was inspired by, I found this spice mix in Tesco this week, spiced Moroccan, and I quite fancied a bit of a Moroccan flavour. So uh, I thought I'd do a Moroccan lamb with some Mediterranean couscous see how that goes. Um, with regards to the lamb, of course this is me, it's not real lamb, it's vegan lamb, but this is um, it's a relatively new product, again in, in Tesco's um, vegan lamb. Uh, not in its original packaging because I had cooked up the whole package uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had half of it with our roast dinner, and so I bought uh, the rest of it over this weekend it's been in the freezer ever since so it's already pre-cooked and just needs mixing in with the, the herbs and spices and vegetables that I'm going to prepare we'll see how it goes but that's, that's quite a nice product that so I'm going to chop up a red pepper a yellow pepper a red onion courgette let's shush some chickpeas in it and uh, just use a packet couscous because that's really easy and quick. Zero to one hundred. 
need your hood on, it's not freezing out there. It's just a slight chill. Definitely pleased with those knives. A new knife is always lovely and sharp, isn't it? Now there is something really annoying. <laughs> annoying to me anyway. Backstory, I treated myself to a brand new iPad. Super excited, 12.9 inch screen means a bigger screen for watching movies and stuff. More powerful, larger memory for my video editing and my hundreds of thousands of photos and just generally all round more enjoyable. So I was super excited to be able to use that this holiday. These new iPads have got a different charging port. Um, they've got a USB-C instead of a lightning port. So I remembered to bring the cable. What I didn't remember to bring was the plug. So I'm absolutely gutted. I don't know how long the battery on this iPad's going to last because I am going to watch some telly tonight. And I'm hoping I've got enough battery to watch some telly tomorrow night as well. Absolutely gutted about that. So, uh, first thing on my list when I get back is to place an order for some extra USB C cables and charging points so that I've always got spare in, in Frankie. I always have spare of everything in Frankie so that I'm not uh, rushing around last minute and things don't get forgotten. So, that I'm pretty gutted about. It's a good job we're only here for two nights. <laughs> I know it's not the be all and end all of the world, but uh, when you're a single parent of an evening, you've got no one to talk to. Telly, the internet, all these things, your iPad is your best friend. So we're out for our evening walk allowing the dogs to have a pee and a poo. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful campsite, but the best bit by far is the lake, I think. River, darling. River. It backs right on to the Great River Ooze. Look at that. And there are some very young swans here. Not quite cygnets, but uh, younger. Remember, don't scare them. me now for the evening with my super sized iPad on my flexible gooseneck so I can place it wherever I want to perfect television for an evening the site looks lovely 
I chose it because it, it's not too far away from home for, for two night getaway. Um, but also because of the river. And I really fancied a nice river walk. So tomorrow, apparently it's, it's quite a pleasant walk from the campsite along the, the canal um, into St. Neitz itself. So I thought we'd do that tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be quite pleasant. Um, certainly decent enough for a nice walk. And just a bit of, of new scenery. The only thing we haven't found on this campsite yet, Perry. Oh, dog poo bins. <laughs> I'm sure they're here somewhere, I just haven't found them. <laughs> but everything else is uh, you know, rather charming, rather relaxed, and, and just perfect for, for a two night getaway. So now I shall sit back, relax, and start watching a new series that I downloaded specifically for this weekend. As ever, I will bid you good night. Love you lots. Bye bye.